Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. In this video, we are going to talk about end progress. So end progress is a slim progress bar for Ajax applications inspired by Google, YouTube and Medium. So why do we need to use it? So if you take a look, if you click on one of these products or any of the pages where a request goes and it takes some time for that page response to come in uh, till that time user doesn't know what's going to happen right so to let user know that something is happening a request is being completed you add the progress bar okay so let's go ahead and use that and i'm going to show you what it does all right so what do we need to do first thing we need to do is we need to install the end progress so let's do that so i'm going to go to my terminal and i'm just going to say npm install end progress okay once it's installed uh, what you need to do, then you need to go to pages and then app.js and then go to this pull request with this URL uh, that's for block page where I've added this and just look for end progress. So end progress. Okay, uh, so once you go to app.js, you need to add this piece of code. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to place it here. Okay. So what we're trying to do is we are importing router from next router, next JS router. We are importing next, we are importing end progress from the end progress package. Uh, we are adding the configuration where we want to show the spinner or not. I'm going without the spinner. If you want, you can add the spinner also. Okay. And then on the router event, like, so you know that in React, you have different routes. Uh, when you go to different pages, those are available at different routes like slash about. Uh, slash contact us. So different pages are, are available on different routes. So on the event uh, router chain start, you go ahead and add this function callback function, which is end progress start. Okay, so when the router change starts, your end progress starts. And when the router change is complete, then end progress uh, done function is called. So end progress done is complete at that point of time. Okay, so when the user goes from one page to another page from one route to another let's say from home page it goes to about us then we are latching onto this we are listening to this event router change start on the react router which is available in the next js and then we're just calling this function on start and on done and in case if there's any error then we also use the uh, end progress start done okay so that's all you have to do here and the next thing you need to do is add the styles for it so let's do that so again look for end progress so we'll go to our source and under that you have styles and I'm going to create another directory over here, make it four and call it libraries. If you're wondering where is a second, then we'll add that like in the future, but now I'm not, I'm not putting that. Okay. So libraries and then under that we'll use nprogress.scss. We'll create a file sas file there and then we'll just paste this end progress styles so the first thing is we are doing is we are importing the end progress dot css which is what you will find when you go to the documentation that you would require this end progress css we're just importing that and then uh, besides using the default styles of end progress which is nothing but in the node modules if you go to node modules and if you look for end progress you open it and then if you go to nprogress.css, that's what we are importing here. Okay. Um, so these are all the styles for the end progress library. Uh, we could have very well just copy pasted the style, but the reason why we are importing it so that tomorrow if the package gets updated and requires some update in the style, it's best to import it rather than uh, going ahead and just doing copy pasting. Okay. Uh, besides that, the color they will be using for the progress bar is according to you know whatever theme they have but we want to use our own so that's why we are overriding our style so it matches our theme um, colors okay so i've added that style here to override that okay now once you've created this file you also need to import it so let's close this node module this was just for reference go to index.js and just over here just say n progress styles and then just import that. So add import libraries 
and progress and now just run npm run dev so let that run and now if you click on one of the products pages notice that on the top you have this bar right you can see that bar is getting filled so that's the best part so user knows that something is happening over here right so the bar is getting filled and once the uh, router request is completed it just uh, finishes up loading the entire bar so click on that so you can see user knows something is happening i've changed that color to match my theme uh, colors uh, or you can choose whatever color you want and you can just update that uh, over here okay so yeah so that's that's good because page is not getting reloaded right so if i don't use that progress bar user doesn't know something is happening if they click on it they'll be like clicking on it multiple times thinking that nothing is happening so i think it's important to add that kind of uh, progress bar to let the user know that some request is being completed now, if you're wondering why the hell it's taking too long it's next year supposed to be fast yes it's supposed to be fast it's only because you are in the development environment okay so uh, when you are in the production mode then at that time it uses the build so like it's really really fast so just want to show you quickly so if i stop this development server and then i just run npm run build and npm run start so it's building you can see it's creating optimized pages collecting page data it's building all the static pages 25 so all product pages are done so now if you just refresh if you now click on it you'll notice that this will be really really fast you see that so because now it's serving the cached pages so it's like super fast lightning fast the loader gets filled like straight away uh, but it's important to have that loader right uh, because sometimes in case if you in case you have like a hybrid page where uh, maybe it's not a cache page and you are making a direct request to your server and then generating the page at that time it will be really useful so i think it's good it's good to have that for us all right all right brilliant so that's about it i'm going to see you in the next video i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already please do start my repository to support my work just like the other lovely 201 people have uh, my repository name is next year's woocommerce rest api and uh, please do give super thanks and join the membership for more perks thank you very much bye bye